So, you booted up Tarkov, and your PC started screaming like you did last time you saw your latest energy bill. Let's try to fix that, shall we? Right, so before we go into Tarkov, let's start with Windows, shall we? Let's start, go for the cock, go for settings, then go into the gaming. Disable Xbox Gaming Bar. Heat it out. Game mode, enable it. Head back. Go into system. Go into power and sleep. Hit additional power settings. Go for high performance. Always high performance. After that, you want to head into this little one. Choose what the power buttons do. In here, click this one. Change settings that are currently unavailable. If this one is checked like that, remove it. Now, talk off. Hit the launcher. Before we go into the game, under your name up here in the corner, hit the little arrow, go to settings. Find this one when I launch the game. Exit the launcher completely. So, in tag of we are. Let's hit the settings. First, game tab. Automatic RAM cleaner. Enable. Only use physical cores. Enable. Preload hideout. No, don't. Not worth it. And here's a little tip. The head bobbing, remember to turn it down or you're gonna get headaches from playing the game, okay? Graphics. Now, these settings are the ones I use for streaming. These settings are set up, so quality of my stream is gonna be mint condition. But this is not what you should have. What you should have is the shadows quality on low. When you put your shadows on low, you're gonna force more of the rendering over to your CPU. If you go higher than low to, let's say, medium or high or ultra, you're going to put more and more stress into your GPU instead. Most likely, if you're struggling Tarkov, you want to remove some of that pressure from the GPU and put it over to your CPU instead. Check your quality. Start with low, then maybe try to move further up and hopefully you'll be able to run it with high. Okay. Object LOD quality. Two. Overall visibility. A thousand. Anti-aliasing. Either you're going to go with a TAA, TAA high, or off. Do not go with the FXAA. So, hmm? resampling, default. We're going to come back to this one. Video deal, SSSSSSS. HBO, off. SSR, off. Something filtering, off. And the reflex, low latency. Put it on if you can. Highly suggest it. Put it on. Do not go on the on plus plus boost. Just go with on or off. Okay. Sharpness. Mine is really low because of streaming. You could try to put this up. Some like I would say try seven or eight. Now for check marks down here. Remove them all. All of them. Except for MIP streaming. Enable MIP streaming. MIP streaming is gonna give you a lot more wiggle room for your PC when it comes to the memory. The reason being is how MIP streaming is working. So MIP streaming, what does it do? Now, what you can see on your monitor when you're gaming, the texture will be rendered for you. But everything else is going to be unrendered. Which means that when you then start to move around and look in different angles, wherever you look, the game will start to render those textures for you. In some cases, that can end up with, with you might look through if you're looking at the car, and the car looks like a fucking toy car or something made out of clay, and then all the textures are there. That's because of MIP streaming. That's MIP streaming. But it can be pretty fucking amazing for you if you're struggling with the performance. So put it on, please. Oh, and also, remember full screen. Full screen. Post effects. These are mine. These are the ones I like the most and have really minor impact on my performance. We are talking around four to five frames in, in impact in performance. Um, so try them, see if you like them. If you want more color, just tweak up a bit on the saturation and colorfulness. It's not gonna have any impact on your performance. Um, do not touch clarity or the sharpens. Luma sharpen, yeah, you can touch that one, but adaptive sharpen and clarity, 
Not trust them. They're gonna eat your performance. Oh, and we forgot something, didn't we? DLSS. If all these settings is not really doing it for you, and you have the option of DLSS or the one for the AMD, and I have zero experience with that one, so hey, try to find somebody else then. But NVIDIA, DLSS, if you're gonna go for it, go for either balanced or quality. Don't go lower than that. If you go lower than that, you're not gonna be able to see jack shit through a sniper scope. Even with this on quality or balance, you can actually struggle spotting things because it's gonna be a washed out, blurred, weird image through your magnification scope. But hey, if this is gonna be the thing that makes you able to run Tarkov, use it. God damn it. Frames wins games. Hmm? Actually, they don't, but hey. Um, you might be able to see some ghosting with this on. And what is ghosting, you might ask, Simon? Well, ghosting is when you move around in the game, like something is moving. It can have some sort of echo from it. Um, a ghost effect, blurry out of it. That's the ghosting happening. So if you see it, you're wondering, what the fuck is that shit? It's a DLS doing it, okay? Right, so... <clears throat> that is just a quick walk through settings of Tarkov and what I would recommend you to go and try if you're struggling with it. Hopefully this will help you run the game just a tad better. Happy hunting and hopefully I will see you on Twitch or in Tarkov. See you around.